Previously on Live at Tainted Blue. We got a call for the top three students in the class to come in and uh, help Matt with setting up a band. These are going to be 80% of the sound on this kit today. Kick out is on four. This part of the drum, actually that's where the ring goes, and the tone is over here in the middle. Ableton Live. Far out. <laughs> nice. Guys, I want to introduce you to Kaylin, lead singer of Ladybug Stingray. She's been warming up in the back room. Nice to meet you. All right, well, let's get this young lady in the booth. We mic'd up a vintage uh, U47 in the vocal booth. Pretty intricate mic to hook up. Just right. slip it right in here, like so. And then why don't you lock those up there, you see that? Perfect. All right, so let's make sure that everything is very tight. On a tube mic, we need to make sure that the mic is connected to the PSU, which is this unit, before we plug it in, right? So if we have power applied to this box, and then we plug in the mic to it, we potentially can blow the vacuum tubes in this mic. So we hook it up like so. We're okay to put this into the wall and turn it on, right? Because we have completed this chain under the microphone. And we should let it heat up for about 15 minutes before we start recording with it because after 15 minutes the fluctuations in the tube are going to settle down and it's going to be the same throughout recording. Let's do it! It's important that people know what they're doing. We got the cue box so she could hear with the headphones the way she's supposed to. Got levels right. Guys, patched everything right? So you got phantom power on? Uh, we're about, about to determine that right now. Alright, make that happen. How's this coming there? Good. So we're all patched up, ready to go. Do we have vocals in there? Yes. Can you hear us? Yo. Can you hear us? This takes a couple times to get the levels for the drums and the vocals. I need my vocals up more, please. Sometimes we can be ridiculously hard to work with. When I go loud, I'm hearing it distort a little bit. Or really need things in a particular way. Guys, can you uh, put like a subtle reverb on the vocals, please? He just added about 16 hours to this whole process. I want to let you know. <laughs> Let's do this. Putting a reverb on her, her voice. Turn that up there. 6K1, bro. There you go. Turn it up. Zero. Alright, so we're sending this reverb, right? Right here. We're going to jam out for a little bit and stop in about 15 seconds just to so get a little level on your vocals. <laughs> exactly 15. <laughs> 15 seconds, you got that. Go. I think the hardest part is when it seems like everything should be set up right and it's not. So the, the energy feels like, all right, we're ready. All the prep is done. And then things don't work. The hook is on again. You asking me? Come on. Set the goddamn thing up. How are you gonna ask me what preamp the microphone is on? I nail that in your head every single lap. Track sheet, track sheet, track sheet. I want to see how far that's gonna go because you know when tension comes, like people start going crazy. On the next live at Tainted Blue, we have to hit a speed bump. The tracks was labeled wrong. Alright, we got um, snare 57. Are you ready? Goddamn, what do you think? Hell yeah, I'm ready, man. Go. Yo, Shugbait, play the track. You're closing the f***ing studio down by your f***ing lack of paying attention! Follow Wingsound on Facebook and Twitter to keep up with the latest episodes of our new series, Live at Tainted Blue.